Continuing with our mini series dedicated to Hadrian. Uh, so some gratitude for him for being on the on a few fronts. One uh, because indeed there were a few years with laughter and joy and happiness flow, I guess. Um, second, <laughs> that's a source of happiness. Uh, express, expressing gratitude has been proved by, by positive psychology to be a, a winning ticket. One of the best um, routes, one of the best exercises of happiness we can engage in. <clears throat> and, um, um, studies with, with people that uh, did this exercise in the evening, uh, uh, count your blessings, write three things uh, they are grateful for uh, that happened during the day. Uh, at the end of four to six weeks, studies have shown that these people are happier. Now, there is a bit of a difference uh, from the Bovinsky, Sadiqli, and Anand daily. Um, weekly at the end of the week should it should be done because it becomes uh, <clears throat> routine. Talban Jaha, I guess East Coast, West Coast, and, uh, says daily what, what do I Then there's gratitude the gratitude letters, calls and gratitude <laughs> videos. Uh, so there's that. Uh, but having said that, um, I think there is an unease um, in, in this series for this um, former best friend. Uh, there was an hesitation that I explained it uh, in uh, calling him best friend. Maybe even friend would not be alright because after some time this uh, connection, this strong bond, uh, was severe. No more friends may talk uh, what four times in twenty five years or so, um, which maybe it's all is all right from some other points of view. I use the Thomas Mann uh, rigorous rule for friends, uh, but then there's also something else. So there's this doubt. Uh, there's this um, maybe um, uh, hard feeling, not so hard feelings, because uh, uh, when he left, we, there was something. I should leave this for the end of the miniseries. That might come soon. Um, We thought, due to him, we lost some other friends in Belgium. <clears throat> and then the, the fact that nothing, no more calls. So, uh, there was this interpretation, probably, maybe, most likely, a misinterpretation of the relationship as skewed, as unbalanced. <clears throat> maybe I saw him. Probably, surely I saw him as a, as a best friend for a few years. Uh, but then he just uh, didn't look at it the same way. He just um, used the opportunity to uh, have a place to stay, to have someone to pay for some expenses, and then uh, uh, eventually use the Belgian ticket to move on to other things and then goodbye adieu <laughs> have a good life that's it so there's that um, uneasiness and sometimes um, uh, reproach and, uh, um, um, bad feeling as I said um, but there's, sometimes they say it's good to express this, to bring it to light. Although, referring to positive psychology again, um, it's not, it, 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 
there is <clears throat> there are studies which suggest the contrary. If we express anger, if we express um, bad feelings, we have and, and, and hatred sometimes, which is not the case. I, mean, I don't think I hate him. Do I? Uh, <clears throat> um, actions follow words, or in the words of Tal Ben Jahal, Harvard. Harvard professor of positive psychology, not now, but some years back. I mean, I don't know now what, she, what he does. Uh, <clears throat> words create worlds. So we, we create when we... <clears throat> when we put on uh, this dark material, uh, the world becomes dark. And... <clears throat> To make this episode about analyzing this, analyze this, analyze that movie with Daniel, Billy Crystal, I mean, two of these, the name. Analyze this and analyze that. Um, there is also, I think, maybe in the subconscious, um, remorse, uh, some, maybe some, some penance, some admission of guilt. I mean, we did crazy things, and that that was we enjoyed in, uh, hunting and fucking. <laughs> but then some of that was just as liberals or ultra liberals would put it today, and uh, actions that deserve uh, jail time. I, <laughs> I mean, um, macho chauvinist pace. Instead of um, looking at beauty from a distance, and not even that, I'm not sure what they do. <laughs> I'm trying to be funny though, and use irony satire against ultra liberal excesses. Uh, but <clears throat> we indulge in excesses of our own back then. We didn't know better, we were indeed raised in a chauvinist pig society. I remember him using and I didn't reject that, and I shared that point of view. We were friends of all, uh, <clears throat> that were there to conquer women, to, to, to enjoy uh, sex. <clears throat> it, in defense, I, I think both, maybe more in my case, uh, had a, an admiration, an awe, that's every vibe we can, women, I read them, I remember that from Faust, Goethe, in teenage years. <clears throat> but still, coupled with that, there was a, a, a fight between two enemies who's winning in, in many ways. So, and there was this quote I failed to mention from supposedly Napoleon all women are whores, except my mother and sister, but they too are women or something like that, and disgusting stuff. So, but and it wasn't really that animating, that wasn't the uh, <clears throat> mantra, the, the uh, symbol, the, the, the uh, purpose, the, the uh, <clears throat> symbol of the of life back then, but still. Yeah, we, we, we have things to be sorry for. That's, that's the point. <clears throat>